Question 10. Write down a vector equation of the line to the points 519 and 8715. Uh, only one mark. Notice it says a vector equation, so you can... Uh, there are a, a, a huge number of possible, there's an infinite number of possible answers you can give. Um, we need to know the vector AB, don't we? We need to know the direction vector of what's going on here. So I did that as being minus OA plus OB. So that gives me 3, 6, and 6, minus, plus. Is that right? Is that right? 3, 6, 6. There we go. Uh, so that's the direction. So uh, I think the most common answer that people had was R equals the point A plus, what should we use, lambda? Thanks, <laughs> no. Lambda times 366. Um, now, I actually, I'm going to have to ignore what I did in the rest of this now because I didn't write that one day. I, I tried to be clever and I wrote that as being 122 two and did the rest of the question. With no, you didn't give me a little bit of maths and we got that. You no, know you didn't. So there we go, right, part two. Um, here's the point. Okay, if you're making a thing of this then, come on. What is the difference between what you've got written down oh, and what I've got written down? Ah, thing. Okay. Bloody Louis, there, there you go. Right. Part two. P is the point 11 so, minus 2, 15. Minus. It, was, it was only one mark. And one mark for finding the vector equation. If you don't have R equals, it's not an equation. So you don't get the mark for it. It has to say R equals to be a vector equation. You wrote down a vector expression. <laughs> Sorry. It's frustrating, isn't it? Uh, okay, P is the point 11 minus 2, 15. Show that the triangle APB is isosceles and find the angle PAB. Uh, now, we have to think quite carefully about the the lines that are in here, and make sure that we're being consistent about what we're doing. I, you know, I kind of found it helpful in this to, to just draw. I know this, you know, that there's no relation to the actual triangle, but there's the triangle PAB, so that I can think about it. Where can we put the points? There's P, A, and B. Basically, sort of marks out for each bit of this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so as we as we think about it, we've got to show that the triangle is isosceles and find the angle. Now, the angle P. A, B is that angle there. That's the angle that we're interested in. It's got to be the angle inside the isosceles triangle. That's what we need to think about. So we need to think about A, P and A, B as being the, the lines that we want to work that out. Um, if we're going to show it's isosceles, then we're going to have to do something about finding lengths of sides, probably. That's going to be the way into this, isn't it? So if we, let's work on some of these sides. We've got that AB is 366. The vector AB is the vector 366. So the length of AB is the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared plus 6 squared. That is, well that's nice, isn't it? That's 72 plus another 9 is 81, so that's 9. So AB is of length 9. Good. Um, let's work out some of these other vectors then. So the vector AP, we're going to need that in a minute when we do our angle. So the vector AP is minus OA plus OP. So that is minus 519 plus 11 minus 2, 15. So I make that to be 6 Minus 1, take away another 2, is minus 3, and minus 9 plus 15 is 6. And, oh, at that point, I'm already noticing these are the same kind of numerical values in, that we've got in there. When we, when we square these, the uh, magnitude of AP is also going to be 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. That is 9. Actually, I'm, I'm not even going to work out the length of PB. I just don't care anymore. Because that, those two sides are the same. I'm prepared to state, at this point, 
that the length of AB is equal to the length of AP, therefore it's an isosceles triangle. And, and that, that'll do. I'm happy with that. I suppose it could be an equilateral triangle. And, and maybe I ought to justify that it isn't if I'm being really rigorous. But I'm going to sort that because I'm going to find the angle. And if the angle isn't 60, then I'll be happy that it's isosceles. But I suppose I should link that in. They didn't care. Um, yeah, Molly wants to know why the marks were. And I think that's one. I think they only gave one mark for doing that. I can't find it now. Is it question 10? Yes. Uh, I, I can't, can't find the last one. It's part one of that. Oh, there it is. Uh, yes, so they, they just gave one mark for uh, justifying that it's an isosceles triangle. And actually, they gave the mark for just saying A, B equals 9, A, P equals 9. You didn't even have to confirm that it was. Uh, isosceles. Right, so there's three remaining marks for the angle. Now the angle, you see we've already worked out AP, we've got AB already. So the angle theta cos theta, remember the formula that we have for this, cos theta is A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. So in this case, when we talk about those, we're talking about these two vectors, the vector to P and the vector to B. So that is uh, 366 six, dotted with 6 minus 36 divided by the um, well the, divided by the, the product of their magnitudes we've already worked those out that's 9 times 9 we know that so the top of this gives us 18 minus 18 plus 36, the bottom line gives us 81, so cos theta is, is that 36 over 81? And if you take that to your calculator and do inverse uh, cos of 4 ninths, you get that the angle is 63.6 degrees to 375 degrees. I suppose if you were being super rigorous at this point, you would say, therefore, it's, it is isosceles because it's not equal. Mm -hmm. But there we go. Uh, the marks were for. Uh, the marks were for using the formula, so for, for that yeah. method mark, and then an accuracy mark for getting to that point, and then an accuracy mark for getting 63.6. Does this one let you ignore that subsequent work? Did you get 63.6? Yeah. And then I drew up, I did something else underneath, but I, I did get 63.6 and get the doing that thing and do 36 over 81. Mm. I just might not have made a claim though. Did you go on to find the obtuse angle? Did you take it away from 180 or anything like that? No, I did that one. I'll have a look in a minute. You, yeah. maybe, you maybe got extra marks in there. Um, Okay, uh, right, We've, that's good, okay. Are we happy with that? Uh, there was then a point, a part three. Ooh. The point D lies on the line through AB. Angle PAD equals angle PDA. Find the coordinates of D. Now I think this, this took a bit of thinking about what was going on. And a diagram is, uh, is pretty much essential for what's going on in this. So, so let's let's go to. I'm going to do a new page for this. Let's go to a, a diagram of what's going on. We've got. We've already got. Uh, I'm going to, well, yeah, we've already got there. There was the triangle that we drew. There was a. There was B. That that was the triangle. We found that PA and AB were the same length. That's what we had. So, what has the question added to this? The question has said. Uh, the point D lies on the line through AB, and the angle PAD, well hang on, let's think about this. We found the angle PAB. If D lies on the same line, then, then that's talking about the angle PAB. So the angle PAB 
is the same as the angle PDA. I think that's telling us that there's another isosceles triangle going on here. There is a line, and I think the line would be somewhere like that. Would it need to be somewhere like that? Such that, um, now what have we got there? That that is the same length as that one. That's right, isn't it? Because this is now an isosceles triangle because that angle there, the angle P D A is the same as the angle P A D. That's that's the triangle. So that's where we are with this. Does that make sense? There are there are a number of different ways that you could go about doing the next part of this. The way that I thought, the way that occurred to me, actually turned out to be the well, what's given us the first answer in the marks. So that I think the most obvious way of doing this is to say if D lies on the line AB. We've already found the line AB. So the, the point D, uh, point, the position vector of D, comes from that equation that we began all of this with. And that, um, that equation, if we go back rather than quickly there, was, was 5 plus 3 lambda, 1 plus 6 lambda, and 9 plus 6 lambda. I made my, my calculation slightly easier because I used 1, 2, 2 instead of 3, 6, 6 in that when I did this last year. So that's, that's the position vector of OD. Now, um, I think the vector PD, that, that line there, that line has a length of 9, doesn't it? Because it's the same length as PA because it's an isosceles triangle. So now I want to find the vector PD. And PD is minus OP, and OP was given to us as being 11 minus 2, 15, plus OD. So that's the vector PD. That is minus 11 plus 5 plus 3 lambda, so that's minus 6 plus 3 lambda. Here we've got 4 plus 1, so that's 5 plus 6 lambda. And here we've got minus 15 plus 9, so that's minus 6 plus 6 lambda. Are we, are we okay with that? Have I got that right? Because I, I am a little bit aware that I'm um, doing this now slightly differently to how I did it last year. Uh, that 5 is wrong, isn't it? It's uh, a minus 2, minus minus 2 plus 1 is 3. Are we, are we happy with that now? Great! Um, okay. This vector has length 9. Right. So the length of PD is equal to 9 because it's an isosceles triangle. It's the same length as PA because those two angles are the same. So, uh, 81 is equal to 3 lambda minus 6 squared plus 6 lambda plus 3 squared plus 6 lambda minus 6 squared. At which point you, you can solve that however you want to. I, um, I felt that I wanted to pull out some factors first before I did anything with that. So that is, there's a factor of 3, so that's 9 lots of lambda minus 2 squared. And that is 9 lots of 2 lambda plus 1. And that is 36 lots of lambda minus 1 squared. I missed out the squares. Uh, great. Um, so I'm going to muff out those brackets and try and solve this. I'm going to divide by 9 as well because that seems sensible. So that's 9 is lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 4 plus 4 lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 1 plus 4 lots of lambda squared minus 2 lambda plus 1. That's just multiplying out the brackets. I've divided by 9 at the same time. 
collect like terms, I've got, and can I do this all in one go? How brave am I? I've got 0 equals 9 lambda squared, uh, minus 4 lambda plus 4 lambda, minus 8 lambda, and I think I've got 4 plus 1 plus 4 is 9, take away 9, there's no, no number, 0. Actually, that feels good, doesn't it? Because if we think about this, that, that says that the length of PD is 9. Well, of course that happens when lambda equals 0, because when lambda equals 0, that's at A. I already knew it was true when lambda equals 0. That's the point A. So that's true if lambda equals 0, or if 9 lambda minus 8 equals 0. So lambda equals 0 is point A. So lambda equals 8 ninths is the point D. All I have to do now is to go back, substitute 8 ninths into my equation, my position vector for D, and I've got the answer. So that is OD is the point 5 plus 3 lambda, 5 plus 3 times 8 ninths. Oh, I can't remember it. 1 plus 6 times 8 ninths, and 6 plus 6 times 8 ninths. Is that what I had? Can you remember if that was right? Is it 6 plus? Oh, it's 9 plus 6 ninths, sorry. I thought I could remember it. Which gives us some fairly unpleasant numbers at the end of all of this. Uh, what have we got there? We've got... Oh, I don't even think I want to work it out. 15 plus 8 is 23 over 3. Um, what do we have there? Yes. Yeah, but 20 over 3. 19 over 3 would be better. And uh, another number. 43 over 3. Thanks. Um, uh, it did say, did we not say the coordinates? So again, that's a vector. The question said coordinates. We ought to write it as coordinates at the very end of one of this. So there it is. Ace, and that's maths.